In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the main new features in Tesla Update 2022.36, and that's the new Energy app. In the release notes, Tesla describes the new app as being able to monitor energy used while driving or parked. It also breaks down the energy used into different vehicle subsystems so that you could see which system is taking up the most energy and you can monitor how much energy is being used for driving versus heating the cabin. And while parked, you could compare energy used for sentry mode, app usage, or um, cabin overheat protection, for example. Let's take a look at the new app. Let's go to the trip or drive view uh, first and take a look at that and see how it compares to how it was before. You can see the chart at the very top is similar to before, except now the color coding depends on how your car performed versus Tesla's uh, prediction model. Underneath that, you can see how much uh, energy was used by your vehicle in different vehicle subsystems. So you could see how much energy was actually used for driving versus heating the cab and uh, conditioning, uh, preconditioning the battery or uh, due to elevation changes. On the right side, you also have some tips or explanations of why the car performed this way. So let's go over to the park tab. Here you could see how much energy was used for your car while parked, and this is completely new. We, we knew that using the app or in waking up the car using sentry mode used energy, but you could actually now get a great idea of um, how your car is, where your car is using its energy. Um, so the breakdowns here are sentry mode, mobile app usage. So right every time you're waking up your car, your car is staying awake for a period of time. Um, but it's great to see um, how much energy is also being used to precondition the vehicle and um, for cabin overheat protection. In the park view, you can also switch between since last drive and since last charge, uh, similar to what you can look at in the trips um, view. And the last tab is the consumption tab that we're already familiar with. It looks exactly the same as before where you have the graph and the energy being used and uh, you could choose the distance. Um, at the bottom and change between cha instant and average range. So it doesn't appear like there's anything new here. And that's a quick overview of the new energy app that's coming to the Model 3 and Model Y, potentially available for the Model S and X. We believe this is why Tesla was holding off the energy app there. Um, they were in the middle of redesigning it. So hopefully it'll be available um, on those models of uh, 2022.32 as well. And if not, hopefully in the very near future. Uh, we should hopefully get confirmation on that fairly soon. Um, but th this is a fantastic update to this app. Um, not only can we see how much energy is being used while parked now, but also into each vehicle subsystem. Um, I'd love to see those systems expanded even more. Um, but I understand Tesla is trying to keep it simple here as well. well. One nice addition would be if Tesla also offered you the ability to view the kilowatts used uh, instead of just uh, percentage. Um, but overall, this is, this is a, a great new feature. Um, I'm sure everyone will be uh, super excited to get this. Thanks for watching. For additional details or more information on software updates, visit our website at notateslaapp.com.